The Center for Popular Economics held their summer institute this past week at Columbia University with workshops on alternative banking, media justice, financial justice, housing as a right, participatory budgeting, immigrant-led worker cooperatives, solidarity economies, and more. The theme for this year's institute was economics for the 99%, and the week of studies finished up with a a Brooklyn tour which included visits to the Park Slope Food Co-op, Occupy, and the Brooklyn Commons, a collaborative space on Atlantic Avenue striving to be the home for various alternative economic enterprises. The Brooklyn Commons is also one of the lesser known incubators for the Occupy movement where nonviolent trainers held workshops in civil disobedience for the scores of activists pouring into New York into the days leading up to the September 17th actions on Wall Street last year. Occupy Public Access TV's correspondent James Green caught up with Karen Washington of Just Food in the Bronx, who was at the Summer Institute to talk about how we can take back our food system. I'm part of La Familia Verde, which is a community garden coalition, also Bugs, Black Urban Growers, and Just Food. We were asked to do a presentation, and our topic was the color of food, and we talked about the issue of food and how it has transcended um, different immigrant groups and also the effect that food has in my neighborhood. I live in a low-income neighborhood, and I got a chance to talk about the color of food in my neighborhood. We talk about food justice. We have to look, over, look at our agricultural system. If it's supposed to be sustainable, then food should be a right for all and not a privilege for some. And so that's what you're starting to see. You're starting to see better food in higher neighborhoods. In my neighborhood, we have junk food. So if we're talking about leveling the playing field and we're talking about a fair and just food system, then food, healthy food, should be a right for all. And so we're talking about some of the problems that are in our neighborhood, and there's a lot of it is based on economics, wealth, and racism. And so we're here to sort of dispel some of the myths around food, but also to educate people around food and what they can do to make a difference. Our food system is controlled by a handful of corporations. We're beings of people in the whole world. So we have to make a difference. We have to start taking back our food system. And so what you're starting to see in small pockets across this country is that people are starting to grow food in their front yards, their backyards, their windowsills, their terraces, all in the name of food justice. And so hopefully I won't be standing here 10 years from now talking about food justice, but talking about an economy that's run by the people for the people. Bugs is black urban growers. We started the first Black Farmers and Urban Gardener Conference back in 2010, and as a result of looking at the food system, seeing the numbers of black farmers that were diminishing, and if we didn't do anything and educate people around food, we felt that by 20 years from now, there would be no black farmers. So we started this organization to just put it out there, the disparity, the, the disparity we saw in terms of food amongst people of color, especially black farmers. And so we started this organization, Bugs, Black black urban growers to bring awareness to the fact that we need more black farmers, that's number one, but also to look at our communities around our education, economics, and wealth. I was part of the Occupy Farming sort of collaborative that they did a couple of months ago, and I really like the movement. I mean, it's going to come from us. It's not going to come from that 1%. I mean, we are the 99%. We should be out there really taking back our land, really talking about the social justice aspect around food, around our economy, around our wealth, and it starts with us. So, you know, I'm on board with the Occupy movement, and it shouldn't be just in terms of, of, of economics, but just look at wealth. Let's look at housing, let's look at education, let's look at the whole system as a whole and take back this country.